So we had the CS 2024. Hi. Hi. So who are you? I'm Chris, Chris Olavario. I'm a senior product ma marketing manager in Qualcomm. And uh, here we have the X Elite, right? Laptop. Snapdragon X Elite. And um, this is just a prototype uh, kind of laptop or? It's our reference device. Uh, commercial devices will be coming out later this year. So let's run the benchmark and show how it's so much faster than uh, Apple. No, I'm joking. Okay, <laughs> so uh, it's right here. What is the demo you have? So we're showing generative AI running completely on device. So we have two models that we'll show you. First is the Llama. It's a, it's a chat application. It, it runs Llama. So let's give it a try. Um, say we want to ask the things to do in Las Vegas. This is, off, this is offline. This is all offline. It's not connected to the internet. So you can see how fast it is. It's running nice. a 7 billion parameter model. Um, how, good, how good is this model compared to uh, GPT-3? Uh, can you say anything about that? So th it's different models. Um, this one has been optimized to run on device. So. Um, it's not really, you know, an apples to apples comparison. Because the GPT-3 seems to also be offline. They don't have any information from the internet and stuff. GPT it seems to be like, uh, isn't it like uh, they don't they yeah. only have data from like two years ago, something like that. Right. Well, it's, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah. But from the demos that I've seen online, they, they, they take a longer, they, they take much longer. I think yeah. some of them are running on CPU or GPU, but in in our case, we've optimized it so it ru runs faster. Yeah. Can I use the microphone to ask it something? Yeah, you can, you can yeah. do that. All right. How soon is the Las Vegas loop going to be completed? Oh, the Las Vegas loop, the transportation revolution. As of now, the, it's going to be fully complete by next CES, hopefully. All right, so it's got a lot of information in there. Yeah. Billions. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that, does that mean that uh, potentially the models are going to be preloaded on all the XLE devices, laptops, phones, and it's just going to be speeding up and keep updating the model as they get updated? It's possible, but what we're showing here is that we can work with any model and run it on our chips. That so. means you don't need to get some giant, super expensive NVIDIA stuff in the cloud. Yeah. Uh, in this case, we're showing that it can run on device, which is uh, more power efficient. It does, you don't need the cloud. Uh, plus, running it on the cloud is very costly. I, I always, when I see the logo with the Snapdragon and the Dragon and everything, I always want to be friends with the, the Dragon. <laughs> and now it's possible to have a friend and your phone and your laptop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, uh, and it, it might even learn from you as you keep asking and right. refining. So you don't need to right, like right. reconfigure your, your search queries again and stuff. It knows what you want, kind of, right? One of the big advantages of running models on devices is uh, privacy. So, and, and you can, the, the results of, the, for example, this chat application can be personalized to you with your data being protected as it, it only stays in devices, it doesn't go anywhere else. Uh, when I do my dissertations for all the diplomas I'm getting, I, I wish that there was no way for them to know I'm using a, a, an AI. <laughs> is, that, is it possible? Um, is that possible? Um, that, I know that's a big issue right now, uh, knowing which, which has been created by, generated by AI and what's been generated by humans. So that's a totally separate topic. Because what <laughs> I wanted to do is to give me a unique answer that it's not going to replicate when somebody else asks the same thing. Right, right. And so it needs to kind of keep evolving as I keep asking it thousands of questions. And at the end, it's my unique uh, like uh, chatbot. Yeah. That's nobody will know it's mine, and I'm using it. Your personal yeah. LLM, right? Um, that's very futuristic, but certainly the problem of you know plagiarism needs to be. I don't mind all this plagiarism stuff. <laughs> People copy my videos all the time, and I've never sued anyone. Wow. Maybe I should. I could use. Uh, I could use. Uh, I could use this AI to be my personal lawyer. Yeah. And I could start suing people. It, it, it will sue it for people for me. There's. It's certainly changing a lot. Uh, there's different applications coming out. It's the the industry is moving just so fast. We have another demo here. So it's image generation. Our next demo is. Uh, Stable diffusion. So again, this is running on device. 
um, you can generate an image in under two seconds. Tiger on the moon, for example. This one I like. Nice. So you can see how fast it, it generated the image. Let's try another one. So I'm so looking for a look, like uh, for last year. Cool. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, red cat. Oh, that's red. That's a red cat. Yeah. Uh, uh, for over the last year, I haven't uh, written any descriptions for my YouTube videos anymore. I just use ChatGPT. Oh, wow. So what I would like this to do is when I am ready to publish all my YouTube videos, not only is Xelite going to compress my file so it's maybe smaller to upload, uh, it's going to use crazy fast 5G and it's going to write the description automatically. It's going to choose the best thumbnail. It's going to write all the text and do all that work for me. I can just sleep at night. That would be, that's my dream. Yeah, that would be amazing, right? It really helps you. It, it would help everyone with the tasks that we need to do. Uh, how about the, this is all running on the NPU part of the SOC? Um, that we can run it on the NPU. For example, our stable diffusion model, this is running on our NPU. But we're not limited to the NPU. You can also run it on the CPU, for, on the GPU. So different AI workloads are appropriate for, a for different types of processors. Is there any kind of like open sourcing of the model? Like open AI was supposed to be open source, but then yeah. they, I don't know what happened. But maybe this is a good idea if you do it open source so peop other people can help you to optimize it and make the next generations? Yeah, so both Llama 2 and Stable Diffusion, what we're showing here are both open models which is why that's what, 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 we're, what we're working with nice. and showing as a demo. That's so awesome. And in the future, it'll program your software for you, it'll customize your apps, it'll do... You can just say, hey, uh, make me an app to do this and that, and suddenly yeah. it just generates it on your phone directly. Ah, uh, there's, there's, there's limited possibilities. Uh, is there any, are there any other demos here with Xelite at the CES uh, 2024? That's all we're showing here, um, but we... You, you can see all the other demos that we've shown on the phone, on the 8th Gen 3 platform. There's uh, a lot that you can find online. Do you have any uh, Gen 3 here at the booth? Yeah, so we also have this um, Rogue Phone, Asus Rogue Phone, Rogue, Rogue Phone 8. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it's... Out of power? It's not on right now. Okay. But, um, this Does it is, do the same function? Um, no, we're showing a, a seamless use case. So Snapdragon to Snapdragon, so it's easier to do file transfer um, and it uses less battery, but still keeping your devices connected with each other. It's kind of like Wi-Fi 6 transfers or something like that, or? Um, it, it's not using Wi-Fi 6 in this case, but it, it's possible to transfer your files um, on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth seamlessly. And, and here at the CES 2024, if you don't mind, uh, I'm just turning like this. We are at the automotive area, and uh, I guess Qualcomm is talking a lot about the automotive yeah. at the booth, right? Yes, yes. So if you just have a look here, there's like, uh, what is this car? The so Snapdragon car? That's our concept so car. Let me, let me know. All right. Um, it, it's meant to show the what's possible yeah. with our with Snapdragon chips for automotive. Do you mind coming with me and coming closer to that? Could we have a check it? Sure. Check it out. Yeah, let's check it out. So it's, uh, it's featuring all the latest Snapdragon technology for the automotive. Is that the entrance? Nope. 